I'm Neil Rajan. I'm a professor of dermatogenetics at Newcastle University, and I'm a consultant dermatologist at the Royal Victoria Infirmary at Newcastle. In dermatology at present, there are certain genetic conditions which are really well catered for, and the expertise and the delivery of genomic testing for these conditions is excellent, however, it is often restricted to certain centres in key parts of the country. I think there's a real opportunity, however, in dermatology because in our day-to-day -day care, there are so many clinical conditions that we see, and they often have a underlying genetic basis. For some of these conditions, it's now actually possible to offer a genomic test. And I think an opportunity for dermatologists is to consider this increasingly going forward. Genomics is very important in dermatology because it can help you identify patients who might have changes in the skin that appear very subtle. However, these changes can be a clue that they may be at increased risk of certain conditions that may affect, say, for example, their lung or their brain, as well as other conditions such as an increased risk of cancer. And doing genetic testing in these situations can help identify people who are at risk and stratify investigations and also uh, the opportunity for screening over the course of their lifetimes. And a really good example is a condition known as bert hogg dube syndrome. That's a condition where benign changes happen on the skin on, on the face and chest typically of patients in their 20s or 30s. So they're born completely normal. No one uh, suspects anything. And then these little dots turn up and, and people say, oh, that, that, those are just harmless bumps on your skin. However, patients who develop those lumps can also develop changes in their lung, which means that they can have a a condition known as pneumothorax, where the lung can spontaneously puncture and the patient can become very breathless and, and actually need to have something known as a chest strain to restore their ability to breathe normally. And so the knowledge that, you know, this benign looking harmless uh, subtle rash is, is due to that genetic condition can mean that patients in those families will know that if they suddenly become breathless, not to ignore that, to you know, seek urgent medical attention in A&E and actually to get an intervention that can make a difference. The same piece of DNA can impact their risk of kidney cancer. And the knowledge that it's this type of, of genetic change can mean that they now undergo screening of their kidneys. And then we can potentially capture some of these changes in the kidney very early on cascade testing or the testing of relatives of an affected person is really important because once we know that the person in that family carries that piece of DNA and may have inherited it, say, from their mum or dad, then we can offer this intervention only to the people who have that change. We can reassure some members of the family that their likelihood of inheriting the condition um, is not there. This might have an impact for their personal family planning. And this would mean that they are now being monitored from very early on. And should something be detected, things can be done. I've looked after families where for generations, a skin condition has happened and been passed on. But everyone simply just accepts that that's what they have. But increasingly, patients and patient support groups recognize that it's really worthwhile getting a genetic test and identify the piece of DNA that's responsible. This can start to open opportunities for treatments, for clinical trials, and sometimes just to better understand some of these conditions in what we call natural history studies. When a patient presents with melanoma to a dermatologist, in the course of the history and an examination, it sometimes becomes clear that this isn't the first time in that family. And in the scenario where more than three first degree relatives, for example, have each had a melanoma or multiple melanomas have arisen in a person's skin at a young age, dermatologists are in a position to offer genetic testing that can help explain why that's happening in that family. For some changes in DNA that cause increased melanoma, in addition to the skin, this can mean that individuals also receive screening of internal organs, such as the pancreas from a certain age, and knowledge of this can help detect cancers in such tissues early on and help prevent these malignancies from advancing and causing more significant problems at presentation. Dermatologists can play a real role in mainstreaming of genomic testing in the NHS. They can already order genetic tests when they're confident that they have a clinical diagnosis of a particular condition, particularly one of the 30 that are readily accessible in the UK test directory. I recognize that across dermatology, because of the broad range of conditions, not everyone will be an expert at every genetic condition and be able to understand which tests are the best ones to do.
but dermatology has always been keen to offer the best care to their patients, and appropriate genetic testing is something that we need to start building into our clinical care. Multidisciplinary team meetings between geneticists and dermatologists will be an important resource to work in partnership and offer better interpretation of results that might be slightly more challenging to understand. In addition to that, there are resources that cover sometimes very straightforward elements, such as how to take a family history and also how to interpret uh, genetic test results. These are either available as website resources or short videos, and these can rapidly bring dermatologists up to speed as to what's needed to offer genetic testing. In the future, I have a vision that we will have far more genetic testing deployed in dermatology. I think many more patients will be empowered, not just with a clinical diagnosis, but with a genetic diagnosis. They will also be able to, in some situations, access treatments which may not have been considered simply because they now know what causes their skin condition. And in some situations, knowledge of your genetic diagnosis can open opportunities for participation in clinical trials, which is key towards developing new treatments for conditions where currently there are very few treatments at all.